Hey guys, it's Haley, and welcome to another bookish video. This is going to be our long awaited moving vlog. We finally get to move. Y'all, this has been a fucking long time coming, and I am so ready to get out of here, this little temporary unit that we've been living in, and build my library ah, in our new apartment. I'm so excited. I've been already taking stuff back and forth all day. It's why I look a little shiny, but I have to take this hoodie sweatshirt thing off because I'm sweating. So I got to change and then we're going to start taking more stuff down. I don't think I'm going to set anything up today. Um, I'm just going to take load after load after load after load down there. Hopefully we can get all the boxes and things organized in each room. Then take down the furniture, which I can't do on my own. I have to wait for Cameron. He's going to take a day off and do that for me. And then we'll set up my library. My first library I'll ever have. I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, here we are in the new apartment. I'm sure it's like super echoey, but I've only brought a few things over this little entryway table because I just was so paranoid that it was not gonna fit here. Thank God it does, I got the right size. Alcohol and Halloween decor. You know, just the essentials get moved in first <laughs> and a plant and some posters, but this is the space. It is so large compared to our other apartment. This is gonna be our bedroom. There's no windows, so we got a ton of lighting, fun lighting in there. And this will be the library. I'm so excited. There's like weird angular wall situation going on here. So I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that, but pretty little window. It's pretty large. I think all the like shelves are gonna go on that wall, maybe wrapping around to this wall. Just depends on space. Oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Hi, here I am. I changed out of that massive sweatshirt, so I feel better, but this is the other bathroom. Good size shower, not as big as our last one, but bigger than the one that we've been <laughs> using in this temporary place. And then we have two closets, so. So that's kind of like the empty tour, if you will. I just moved one bar stool up here. I gotta take the other bar stool up the stairs and then I'm just gonna start moving boxes. Here we go. Just seeing this little corner of stuff. Like, this is the vibe. This is the vibe of the library. I cannot wait. I'm getting so excited. Ugh. All this little stuff is so frustrating. Basically what I'm trying to do is get all of the little stuff and stuff that I don't trust Cameron with out of the temporary unit. And like that is all the little teensy tiny, weirdly shaped, breakable, fragile stuff. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have plans tonight. Of course we get the call to move on a day when I actually have plans on a weeknight. So he's going to, while I am out with my friends at a haunted house, hence the ghost earrings, he is going to move over all the big boxes and like furniture that he can. I don't know how much he's actually going to be able to do, but I just want to get all the little stuff out so he's not worried about like, where do I put this thing that she has? Ooh, what if I break this wine glass? Like, mm no so that's kind of what i'm doing right now is just like organizing all the little stuff it is so tedious and i'm getting so tired i think we're like seven trips eight trips in at this point yeah Look at this cute ass cardigan. I'm literally obsessed. I'm also so happy. It's the next day, by the way. So after the haunted house last night, I got home at like 11 and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm already up late, let's just go. And we moved over so much stuff, like probably over half the apartment, I would venture to guess. So let me show you my progress. I moved over all my plants, which honestly was very nerve wracking because I was afraid we were gonna lose a soldier. We did not lose one. So we have all those plants over here, all of these. Oh my God, my babies, they made it safely. We got some furniture. We set up all the patio furniture, all this stuff. We're just like 
kind of making way for the couch and the big stuff, which the boys are gonna move. Uh, Cameron and a couple of our friends are gonna help. We have all this shit in the library ready to set up. And we have some stuff in the bedroom. The bedroom is where the bulk of the stuff still needs to be brought over. And I've brought over none of the bathroom stuff. But you know what? We have the whole day. I think we're gonna get everything moved by the afternoon and maybe I can start building the library by tonight. Maybe I can have it built tonight. Would that be crazy? Should I just stay up all night and do it? I don't know, should I? Mm. Uh, so I had session today. The whole rest of the day is just moving, moving, moving. I'm very excited. I got um, everyone who's helping breakfast tacos, so very excited to have all of our friends help and feed them and get settled oh my gosh i feel like i haven't had this happy energy in so long also i'm a little over halfway through a book so i thought i would talk about it like this is a book channel after all <laughs> don't want to forget about that so i'm over halfway through suburban hell by maureen kilmer my reading has really really slowed down at the end of the month obviously because i've been dealing with this i had a couple personal things come up so yeah, but I'm loving this. It's exactly what I needed. I got the recommendation from Patreon and I'm very happy that I picked it up. It is like basically how I pitched it to the besties on our live stream was my best friend's exorcism meets the mother next door. It's campy. It's fun. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. It's, it goes by so fast. So the times that I do read are like just blissful campy horror but not scary horror like if you want something not scary read that if it will put you in the halloween mood but it's not too much also speaking of halloween mood we're just decked out all right i'm gonna eat tacos have a coffee and get down to business <laughs> They did successfully get the dresser in here, which I'm very impressed with. We're about to get to start building the library. I just have to move over the closet and bathroom stuff. All of that's books, that's books, that's books, that's books, that's books. <laughs> We're gonna have to build a bunch of shelves and somehow make this room into a library. We had to put them out of the way. So they are very distressed. You're okay, you're okay, hey. It's fine. They have no clue what's happening to them. You're gonna have a library. Okay. <laughs> this is about a 10th of my books that I couldn't fit in here. Uh, I'm probably gonna have three or four more trips with the cart and the rest of them are packed up. So at least, you know, that's easier to carry, but this is gonna be a journey. Well, vlog, we have a bar cart. The bottom shattered. So it's supposed to be mirrored like that, but it shattered. So I gotta go get another little mirror that's those dimensions, I don't know. For the past three hours, me and Sierra have been absolutely losing our shit <laughs> trying to build bedside tables. Like, these look really cute, right? Um, Here's where I fucked it up. Am I allowed to say that one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we literally messed up 85 things, but here they are. They look good. That's they look that good. Matters. That's all that matters. It's 1 a.m. A drunk man just told me good morning. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to pick up some packages that got delivered while I was packing things. And then I think I'm going to try to organize the master bath. Just because it's something quick I can do before I finally go to sleep and I need to organize my bath stuff so I can get ready for bed. Okay, so Cam's asleep. I have books holding down this rug. And I have this little area. With the, I'm gonna put all of her blankets there. Not sure what I'm doing with this wall. I'm gonna make a headboard wall tomorrow. and these cute little pictures. I love how it's shaping up. Honestly, the shattered mirror incident <laughs> 
from earlier scared me so much. I kind of want to open the other mirror that I bought and make sure that it's not shattered. And if it is not, which I'm hoping it isn't, I'm going to put it up right here. I think I'm going to do daybed mirror bookshelf right there. I think probably that bookshelf. And then all my other bookshelves will go up against this big wall. Oh my god, there's just so much to do. I cannot believe. I got the first corner of the library set up. I made the day bed, set up the mirror, and put the little fake plants around it. Good morning, guys. I'm up in Adam unboxing this desk. And this video is actually sponsored by FlexiSpot. Thank you so much, FlexiSpot, for sending me this desk. I want to tell you guys all about them while I build her. I hope it's not difficult, <laughs> but we're going to find out and I'm going to give you a review of the entire process and let you know a little bit about the brand. Honestly, we put this together so quick. It literally took less than 10 minutes. This is probably the easiest thing that I built in the move. It was so simple. We just have to lift it up, attach the motor, and watch it move. Y'all, I have a standing desk. This is so cool. It's as easy as A, B, C. <laughs> we did it. That was so easy. Okay, we just set her up. I raised her up a little bit. Obviously, I have a chair for when I want to sit, but it's also a standing desk. That is the whole point. We can lower her down or raise her up. This is so cool. There's also charging ports. You can put in like settings here. It is so cool. So the style of desk that I have here from FlexiSpot is the Komar all-in-one standing desk with the glass top. It's the EG8B if you're looking for it on the website. So sorry for my voice <laughs> during these uh, voiceovers. I am losing my voice, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys and for FlexiSpot. So here you can see all of the beautiful features on the desk. And the best part about a standing desk is that you don't have to be sitting all day to work. Obviously you can use it sitting, but you can also stand it up. Because there's such a wide range, you can literally put it anywhere, no matter how tall or short you are, it will work for you. I absolutely love the standing desk. So if you are looking for a standing desk, go ahead and check out FlexiSpot. You can use my link down below. And if you click my referral link, you will get $30 off. So of course, that will be down below and on the screen. Thank you so much again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. He has found his new little spot right here in front of the mirror. So cute. Cameron just did a lot of measuring. Relax. I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> he did a lot of measuring and we figured out where we needed to place the first bookcase. There's going to be five along this wall. And then the ladder, I think, is going to go somewhere over here. I'm not quite sure right now, but we are gonna build the rest of the bookcases, put them all along the wall, and then we get to start filling them with books. Yay! Woohoo. Cameron is still working away, building the shelves. I filled one. These are, these are my red hardback thrillers. So everything that I've read that I have in a hardback that is a thriller is gonna go here. Don't know, might put something different down there. Have no idea what I'm gonna do with that. Um, that space, I had Karen Slaughter books in, but I think I'm gonna end up giving Karen her own shelf somewhere um, because I have a lot and I have a lot of hers unread, so it's gonna grow. Um, but yeah, it looks so cool. It's gonna look so great when it's all along this wall. Mrs. Bailey, my name is Tiffany Ray. Um, you don't know me, but a few years ago I killed your husband, and I am so very, very sorry. What is this, some kind of sick 
joke? Oh no. Hey vlog. I'm Tiffany Ray. I don't remember the last time I updated you, but we didn't make make we didn't make much progress on the library, so we still have much to build. But I did go to a Halloween party. <laughs> we paused the library building to get drunk. And now I'm Tiffany Ray. Um, if you don't know, Tiffany from the Chucky series is my favorite horror character of all time. I love Jennifer Tilly. I think she's iconic for all the curvy girls out there. She is our queen and I'm obsessed with her. Watch Bound immediately. It will change your life anyway. <laughs> so I just got back from that. I'm going to read the rest of Suburban Hell tonight. Not as Tiffany, I'm going to get in my pajamas and get in bed <laughs> and read the rest of Suburban Hell while Cameron goes out because the rest of the people at the party went out and you know what? I just, I'm a reading girl at heart, okay? I wanted to come home and read and I liked looking cute and drinking for a little bit, but it's reading time now. So I think I'm gonna finish Suburban Hell and then tomorrow we will finish the library. So stay tuned. Hello vlog, it's the next day. We're severely hungover, you could probably tell, but we're going to try to finish the library room today because I desperately need to film. So that's where we're at. This is all the progress we made yesterday until we realized we need a drill to anchor these hose in the wall um, because our last apartment had it anchored and the movers did not give us our anchor back so we had to go to home depot we had a good little run there and then i found out home depot was homophobic so cancel me cancel me doggies okay um hi i'm going to finish my closet and setting up some extra stuff i got for the bathroom and then i will come out here and finish the library. Also, this tattoo is not real. It's for my costume that I had on last night. It just won't come off. So that's the update. One more shelf to fill. Oh my gosh, it's coming together. Okay, we got all the shelves set up and filled. Obviously, I'm gonna do a full tour tomorrow when I get some more decor set up because the room is not done. The bed is rumpled because my friend slept there last night. Hello, what's up? Um, we have this little area. That's the stuff we still have to hang. We also have to hang the disco balls. And then over here is like my little work area with all my work stuff. I honestly love how this turned out and I'll do like a full detailed tour, like I said, tomorrow. My little video book cart. So the way that I organize this is these are the books that I need to fill my wrap up with. These are the books for my next TBR. These are the books that I will collect here. And if it's full, I will do a haul video. So that's kind of that little corner. 
Yeah, I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. I like can't believe that I live here. I feel like an official booktuber with like this book background. It's gonna be so fucking cool. Oh my gosh. Hello vlog. It literally hurts to speak. I'm pretty sure I have COVID. I am fully vaccinated, boosted, blah, blah, blah. But when you have like health issues and you're just an immunocompromised girly, this is the shit that happens to you. If one fucking person at the Halloween party that I went to had a trace of COVID germs in their body, I was gonna get it. So please be responsible. If you feel sick, please just stay home. Please think of immunocompromised people before you go do any fucking thing stupid. <sighs> because I literally just got over a sickness and now I have this. I haven't tested positive, but I'm pretty damn sure. This is good. This is great. Um, this doesn't ruin my moving plans at all. This doesn't put me behind schedule. This doesn't not allow me to film videos or see clients, so I'm losing thousands of dollars. This is great. I don't fucking know what's happening. I will let you know when we can set up the library, and I will obviously give you a full tour. Maybe I can just like sit in the corner and direct Cameron. I don't know, but I feel like shit. So signing off for now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, John, Bert, and Bertha. That's what Cameron has named the disco ball. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Okay, guys. Hello. It is three days later. I'm still honestly pretty sick, but Cameron is the sweetest man ever and finished putting up all the stuff that I had for the library while I have been so down bad with the sickness. So I can't wait to show you a full tour. Here's our little bar cart area. And right down the hallway, there's a hedgehog. Some dog left that. But right down the hall is the library. Here's just a quick overview. In there is my bathroom. Then we have me and Cameron's degrees right here. The shelves, I have a light out right now because I'm about to try to film a TBR. A day bed, which has already been slept in. <laughs> By one of my friends, a little mirror area some hanging disco balls and a disco ball planter i love those we have my little plants that i made in a vlog a little while ago my amazing flexi spot standing desk with a chair in case i want to make it a sitting desk all my office supplies over here and then my little cart and a lamp over here so that's kind of an overview of the room but i also want to go in depth and show you guys the individual pieces of the library. Heading over here, because I do have some books over here. This is everything that I want to unhaul. So if my friends come over, they can take anything from the shelf. I also need to put things up on Pango. So everything that I don't have laid down are things I need to put on Pango to sell. I have some special edition Agatha Christie's right here. These cool little library coasters, which my mom got for me. I absolutely love them. All my office stuff, kind of boring. I want to figure out something to put here to cover these wires. I don't know what, because I have a million and one chargers, extension cords, blah, 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 for the printer and my laptop and all of that. So I might get just like a big fake plant or something to go there. Not sure. But let's go ahead and go to the Peace Day Resistance, and I will show you guys my shelves. Starting at the first one, right when you walk in the door, we have this entire shelf is TBR. So this is all unread books. Also, I have this like pile of greenery right here because I think I want to do something with it on top here, but I just don't know. I need to look at like some inspiration. So that's why that's there. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I need to do something here. And then I think I'm going to do a gallery wall right here, but that is future. I'm not even worried about it right now. Girl. For real, you're half out of your costume and you're jingling. Just please hold, please hold. We were about to get to the good stuff. 
So these are all unread books. On the top shelf here, I have all of my YA unread books. So I'll give you a moment to look at them, read all the titles. This is kind of like a every book on my physical TBR video as well. We have some really good ones in there. And then the shelf below is all unread contemporary and historical fiction. So we start with contemporary over here. We start to get into some more historical over on the other side. And this candle is actually meant to smell like the pages of a book. I haven't lit it yet, but I think it's so cute, the little book on the bookshelves. Moving down to the next shelf, we have more unread, obviously. And these are paperback, contemporary and historical that I need to read. So the top was just organized by genre, and these two are organized by type, hardback, paperback, and we have some contemporary and then some historical classic kind of stuff on the other side. And right here, I have my little stamper, which I can stamp with the date uh, when someone checks out a book from my library because I have a whole library system set up where people will write you know, what they have out, the dates when they take it, and it gets a little label in the book with a stamp. I think it's so cute. The shelf below, I have all of my unread nonfiction books over on the side, kind of laid down there under the Polaroid of me and my best friend. I have a true crime unread and the unread like kids books that I'm planning on using in a vlog at some point. And down at the very bottom, we have fantasy and fantasy adjacent books that are unread. So obviously this is my teeniest, tiniest section. So I had to fill up some space with Bevo over here. Hook them. The second shelf right here is also full of unread books. So this top level is all unread horror books. Starting with Chuck Palahniuk. I also tried to put similar authors together. We have a couple of Stephen King, but yeah, these are my unread horror. Next shelf, we start into the unread thrillers, which is definitely my biggest category. I have three shelves of unread thrillers. So here are the paperbacks plus one random hardback that was just like tiny. So I thought it looked better with the paperbacks. Down below we have hardback thrillers that are unread. I love the way this shelf looks. I don't know, it's something about like all the spines kind of matching up. I just, I love the look of hardbacks on shelves. And the shelf below is also hardback unread thrillers plus a couple Leanne Moriarty books over here on the corner. And then all of the unread thriller mass market paperbacks that I have. The last level of this bookshelf over here is all unread romance. So I have a couple hardback and then all the rest are paperbacks. I love romance paperbacks. I prefer that format for this genre. So I have quite a few here. Shelf number three right in the middle. This is the big one. Hello Boba with her hedgehog. She like really wants to be a part of the tour. This one is the biggest shelf. It's why it's in the middle. And this is where we start to get into my red books. So at the top here, we have red horror books, plus a random section of Agatha Christie because <laughs> I did not want to put that with the thriller and it just fit with these horror books. So I have my Eric Laracas over here. This I will turn on, it lights up at night. It looks so pretty. Then we have horror, horror, horror. Some of my favorites back to back. We have Survivor, Brother, For the Sake of, Pet Cemetery. A few Stephen Kings right here. The shelf below is also dedicated to horror. We have a whole other shelf 
of horror that I've read. A couple favorites on this shelf are We Need to Do Something, Invisible Monsters, The Only Good Indians, and Night Film. Down below we have... <laughs> This is actually my heating pad that I use for PCOS stuff. So <laughs> love her. She's the best. And this is a random dog Cameron got me at Ikea. We have a candle from Dossier on top of the first red thriller shelf. So all of these are paperback thrillers, obviously, that I have already read. So these are all red. And over here we have a couple Jennifer Hillier Elisa Jewell. I tried to keep all of the Jennifer Hillier and Lisa Jewels together, but I wanted to prioritize type of book over, you know, grouping books together with the same author. And then the last shelf over here are red paperback thrillers. I have Robin Harding, Sherry Lapina, quite a few classics down here like Gone Girl, Luckiest Girl Alive, I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. I have all of my AR Torres right here, including this series, which is my favorite series. And if you're wondering why, there are three Colleen Hoover here. Obviously, Verity is a thriller. I also have Layla right here, which is like a paranormal romance. I think it's more thriller than paranormal. And It Ends With Us is a thriller. Don't talk to me about it. Don't at me. Just know that it's a thriller. In this first drawer, we have games, all of our games for game nights. And in the bottom drawer, we have video games. So, period. On to shelf number four, we have red romances. I tried to do all hardbacks on this shelf, but there obviously just, there wasn't enough. So I didn't realize how many of my romances I actually was introduced to because of a book of the month. Love book of the month. Obviously love Catherine Center as well. I have my L Kennedys and then just a few recent romance reads. Plus a little mini fig of Draco that one of my friends got me for my birthday. Down below, we have red romance paperbacks. Obviously, the Katie Robert books, K.A. Tucker, Colleen Hoover, Tessa Bailey, Taylor Jenkins Reid, one from Christina Lauren, the one that I've liked, <laughs> and then a few other random down here with a candle that smells like Eddie Munson, allegedly. Obviously, I had to put Eddie and Draco on the romance shelves because we're in a love triangle, if you didn't know. The shelf below is honestly kind of random. This was the catch-all shelf a little bit. So over here, I have classics slash kids books that I've read, plus the one fantasy book I have on my shelves that I've read. I have historical fiction and contemporaries that are read and paperbacks right there. This is also the shelf below is kind of a random shelf as well. We have a few hardbacks that I just didn't know how to categorize. I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know with any of those how to categorize them. Then with Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered starts the nonfiction section. So all the rest of these are nonfiction. We obviously have a memoir. These three are true crime. We have two essay collections, another memoir, and all the rest of these are like psychological uh, self-help kind of vibes, except for The Last Victim down here, which is my favorite true crime book I've ever read. And the last level of the shelf is all of my red YA in these two stacks horizontal back there. So I'll move these so you can kind of see. So here are my red YA thrillers and horror over here. And then on this other side are red YA contemporary and romance. And then in the middle, stacked right here, I have hardback contemporaries. I have three more hardback kind of like historical vibes. Obviously, the Celeste Ng and Notes on an Execution are like a dual timeline. And then the Midnight Library has, you know, it plays with time travel, so I didn't really know where to put her, but I thought those all looked really good like that. 
And then this last little section that I just stacked in front of the YA are the rest of the hardback contemporaries. So ideally those four would all line up with these, but I think it looks good as it is. I kind of like the stacks. It looks kind of trippy and cool, but these are the other contemporaries that I really enjoyed and I wanted to keep on my shelves. My favorites of these are Malibu Rising, Una Out of Order, and The Vanishing Half. Are we ready to tackle this last shelf? Because girl, this is all thrillers. Of course, I had to have a thriller dedicated shelf. So this first level right here is hardback thrillers. They're all hardback thrillers. I tried to keep like authors with like authors here. So you can see that we have the Liv Constantine books right here all the Megan Miranda's right there, and then a couple Peter Swanson. The next level below, I tried to keep all hardback book of the month branded thrillers with a little logo at the top. And again, trying to keep like authors together. So I have those two Alex North right there. These two Sherry Lapina. This one was not a book of the month copy, but I wanted those two Sherry Lapinas together. And then all the four at the end are Alice Feeney's, two of which have the logo and two don't. Moving on to level three, we have more hardback thrillers. Can you tell my favorite type of book? And I tried to only put books on the shelf that were from authors that I had multiple books of, but that just got really confusing. So the start over here, we have two Samantha Downings, a bunch of Lisa Jules, two May Cobbs, one B.A. Paris, two Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen, and then I just, I just gave up, y'all. I just, I gave it up. Also, these rocks are, they do have significance, okay? This one my friend got from Alaska. This one me and Cameron got on a date hiking to this, like, little river thing, and this one my friend made for me in her rock tumbler. Like, that is so cool. This was just, like, a rock from her yard, and she made it into, like, a little pink gem for me. And the last level here of the last shelf are more hardback thrillers. <laughs> so I have all my Riley Sagers right here, the Jennifer Hilliers that aren't the paperbacks, and then the Ruth Ware books that I have. This section back here behind my little painting of The Vanishing Half, because I literally love that book so much, I recreated it <laughs> on a little thing for my shelves. I have all my Karen Slaughters back here. So these are my hardback Karen Slaughters. I have pieces of her, Girl Forgotten, False Witness, and Pretty Girls, of course. And then I have on top my Karen Slaughter paperbacks that are red. All of these Karen Slaughters are red. So The Good Daughter and then the Grant County series on top. And then the last little section down here is all of my puzzles. These are puzzles that I have done. Those are puzzles that I have yet to do. I'm so excited to do these like Christmas ones from Costco. Anyway, that's the last section here. So that is every single book that I have on my shelves, read and unread. And I'm so excited to start filming with this beautiful background. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for what I can put on the top of here. It's probably, I don't know, like two and a half feet of space up there. I have no idea what would look good up there. I want to do plants, but we only have this one window in the room, so I don't want them to die. But if you think like low light plants would look good up there, that's definitely something I think would look good. What do people put on top of their bookshelves? No idea. Y'all have to let me know. Uh, can't wait to put the gallery wall up here. Of course, I will update you. I probably will put it in a blog and look at Sweet Boba. You finally calmed down after I'm done filming. For real? Of course you did. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Oh my God, here my voice cracks. I literally feel like death. So I just wanted to get this video up. I wanted to show you guys my library. I was so excited to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out FlexiSpot down below. Thank you again to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I love this desk so much. It was so easy to put together. I seriously cannot say enough times how much I love this desk. Just working on it for the past few days has been so wonderful. So definitely check them out down below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!